National Educator Hello everybody and welcome once again to another lesson of physics form 2 and this time we are going to take it from we are going to continue with magnetism which we started last week now what did we do last week we talked about properties of magnets and one of the properties of magnets that we need to take into account this week is the directional property the directional property is the property in which a magnet when suspended in a in the earth's magnetic field will always point north uh, that's a very important property today the other uh, concept that we talked about was the law of magnetism the laws laws of magnetism where like poles repel and unlike poles attract we also talked about the magnetic field and the magnetic field patterns and how to draw them. So today, what we are going to do is we will be talking about the magnetic field of the Earth. Believe me or not, believe me, the Earth has its own magnetic field. We'll also be talking about the domain theory. Uh, this is a very important theory in our, in which will help us understand what, how to make magnets, and we will also be talking about magnetization by induction, and we will also be talking about magnetization uh, by the stroking method. So, let's start with the Earth's magnetic field. Believe me, the Earth has a magnetic field, and that makes it a magnet. Remember, one of the things that make uh, magnets uh, magnets are their properties. And one of the properties is that they have uh, uh, the South Pole and a North Pole, which generate a magnetic field. So, the Earth's magnetic field, this is the magnet magnetic field that extends from the Earth, Earth's interior, out into space. So as you can see, uh, the Earth's magnetic field will extend from the center and will go all the way to the to outside, to space. So where does this magnetic field come from? The magnetic field is generated by electric currents due to the motion of the conventional currents of molten ion in the Earth's outer core, driven by heat escaping from the core. So we have the, the Earth, as we know it, it has a solid uh, core, and the solid core is very hot, and that heat melts the outer core, uh, which has iron in it, and as we know from our thermal uh, heat transfer, we know that heat is transferred using conventional currents in liquids. So you find that we have ion that is moving in conventional currents in the outer core. This makes them to generate the Earth's magnetic field. So why does a compass always point to the north? This is a reminder of what we covered last week. We said that there is a directional property of all magnets. So when a magnet is suspended near the Earth's surface, it points in the north-south direction in order to align itself with the Earth's magnetic field. The reason why magnets will always point north is because they are trying to align themselves with the Earth's magnetic field. So the Earth's uh, magnetic field actually behaves like a huge uh, bar magnet 
and the the magnetic field is currently tilted at a at an angle of about 11 degrees with respect to the Earth's rotational axis.